Hey guys, this is Rob with Vapor Street here again. Today we got a couple more new juices from Mount Baker Vapor to go over to do a review on. So, anyway, the first one's Johnny Tempo. Second one is Moo Juice. These are both 80 VG, 20 PG, 6 milligrams nicotine like all the rest of them. So first one we're going to do is the Johnny Tempo. We're going to do that in the K101. Fresh cotton. So we can get the best of it. Put the, the Johnny Tempo in there. Get it all nice and wet. I say like always, this is sub-ohming. We've got to get the right battery in there, which I'm using a Sony VTC4 30 amp high drain. Get all nice Oh, smells like bananas. You can smell the bananas real strong in that. I don't smell nothing else, just bananas. Yeah, let's do a little dry hit. Vapor looks pretty like it's going to be good. Alright, we get that a little bit warm. I like to do that to get the juice a little bit warm, let it soak down into the cotton a little bit better. Ooh, I smell like a maple syrup or something. This is kind of a, a darker juice, as you can tell. I like the, the lighter color juice. The darker color juice sometimes seems to kind of uh, darken my cotton and uh, kind of put a little caking around on the coils. So I got to clean my coils every couple days. Which is just take the cotton out, get it hot, put it under some tap water, and it'll wash them right off. But so let's take a hit. I taste a little bit of like a maple syrup in there, just a little hint of bananas. Good vapor production, good on the throat. I'm really tasting that <coughs> like a maple syrup type of taste it's coming out pretty strong I mean just like I say just a little hint of bananas <coughs> I smell the bananas more than I can taste it We good vapor production. That's another thing. If you want to get good vapor production, don't go for max VG because they dilute it down a little bit with water. That's the only way they can get it to kind of wick up. So I always try to go for 80 VG, 20 PG. That way, get a little bit of a throw hit. It's smooth enough. They don't add water, and I get the most vapor production I can get. I mean, that, that tastes nice and smooth. It's not real overpowering of the of bananas, not real overpowering. I mean, you can really taste the maple syrup type of taste in there. That comes out pretty strong, but you do get a little bit of a banana taste and so I mean it's not it's not bad. It it tastes alright.
Would I order it again? Uh, I, I don't know. We we'll have to vape on it a couple more days. Now nah, I'll see if I if I can use it every day. We'll order another one. It does taste really good though. <coughs> I mean, if you really like maple syrup, it's really coming out. The taste of maple syrup really comes out <coughs> on this. Yeah. Still looking pretty good on the coils. They're not too bad. I mean, if it doesn't gunk up my coils or anything and the taste stays where it is, it's 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 nice vape. I really kind of taste a little bit of a hint of banana when it's going in, more of a maple syrup when it's coming out. Well, other than that, it's, it's pretty decent juice. A little bit darker color than I'd like. I didn't know if it was going to come like that dark or not, but all in all, it is pretty good juice. Got a little cough. I mean, it's cold outside, you know. All right, so we're gonna do moo juice next. Moo juice. And this is like a, a strawberry cream. I'm really hoping it ain't overpowering with strawberry. I mean, I do like strawberries. It smells like strawberries. But I've tried other strawberry ones. It's like this. It's just so overpowering that I couldn't vape it all the time. So, I'm gonna put that on the V3 fresh cotton sub ohm coils, dual sub ohm. Get it all wet. I, I really do like Mount Baker Vapors juices. I mean, for the price, you can't beat it. I mean, they taste better than a lot of other ones I've done in local vapor shops. Let's hit it, get it nice, get it all in there, get it warmed up, and get it inside there. Look at that vapor production. Like I say, I do that to kind of get it to draw down in the cotton. You don't want to do it too much where it's dry or it catches on fire, though, if you're using a rebuildable. RDA or anything like that. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, I smell a little strawberry and some cream in there. Let's try it. Good vapor production. Puts out good cloud. Yeah, that. Oh, that's good. That's good juice. Strawberry is just a little hint, just the way I want it. Just a little bit of a fruity flavor, but you can really taste that the the cream in it. That's good. That's good juice. This could be this could be an all day vape right here. That's nice and smooth. Just a little hint of strawberry, not overpowering, or it kills your taste buds or none. It's it's creamy. good oh. yeah 
Yeah, that, <laughs> that's good juice. Like I say, just a small hint of strawberry, so it gives you that fruity taste, but also like a, it's just a smooth, it's going, it goes in smooth and comes out smooth. It's, I mean, you can taste the cream going in and out. I don't know what kind of cream it is. Kind of almost like a, a cream cheese, I guess, kind of. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> if it stays tasting like that and vaping like that, I'll get a bigger bottle next time. Oh, yeah, that's good. All right, guys. Don't forget about the Vamel V5 giveaway we got with the 4,500 milliamp hour battery. That ends tomorrow, so make sure you get subscribed and like the video for that. Leave a comment down below on that on that video that I did on Thursday or Friday. Make sure you get subscribed and comment because we'll be picking the winners of the Vamo V5 out of the, out of the subscribers. That's for the stainless steel mod model with the 18650 4500 milliamp battery. It should last all day. All right, till next time.